Hello, so we're back in Instruments of Destruction, and I have a pretty cool idea right now. My idea is, you make a trebuchet. I'm pretty sure that's how you say that, trebuchet. Uh, and this is my last build. If, if you like how this looks and see how it works, uh, how, how I made it, it was pretty, really fun to build. And, just, like... Boop. And see how that just shredded that? It was it's pretty cool. Anyways, so I already have a base uh to use. It was I, I just took it off of this and this is just the base. It is pretty powerful. It's meant to look somewhat good and it can haul a lot. The idea is trebuchet. Um, this idea just came from this breakable connector, or, uh, release connector. I think these just break at some point, like, if they're too much stress. And this is attach on command. Cannot reattach, but that's fine. Um, so the first, like, phase, I guess, of this is creating a, like, it's, uh, two pillars. Okay, so we have somewhat of a zigzag pattern right here, and I guess my uh, two pillar things will be right here. So, um, yeah, let's, I think what I'm going to do, this is even, so what I'm turning I think should be this large, and fast swivel, I want a power swivel, yeah, okay. This should work. This is a low maximum speed. We don't need this to be really high. Oh, okay. So really all we need to do is that's going that way. And this is also going that way. Oh, so that's already fine. So I think this might work. But my idea is having something like, oh, these are actually kind of thick. Huh. I can't really put anything in between that. So maybe... No, also nothing with that. Hmm. They don't like follow the grid thing. Okay, so... Looks like this is actually even right now. While, while the base is odd. Even with odd width, yeah. Anyways. So the, this is, I should just say the idea. So this is supposed to spin. And if this spins, then I think if I attach a rope to it, then that rope might spin too. But it would have to be at a somewhat large speed. So I'm going to use cable because it's not very flexible. So... Yeah, okay, this is actually going kind of well right now. That, like, that's spinning. Um, I used power, the power, uh, power pivot, because this is actually going to be carrying very heavy stuff. I need to have a release connector. I'm, I assume that if I just, I don't know, put that there, this should work now. It's actually a little bit, first of all, it's a little bit long. I can change that, though. Okay, well, oh, okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe I should change the height a little bit. Are those not connected? Oh. Okay, uh, that's a problem. So this is not connected. Like, that's connected, this is not. I think it's because of this. 
this doesn't really follow the grid thing and can make measurements get off place. So I'm going to change that. This is actually very, very wide. I don't know if I need it that big. Okay, so I decided to put an overdrive there because there's a chance that this this may the load the load might get um large heavy. So yeah, that, that looks pretty good. Um gonna have to put this back though. Okay, so back at this stage. That should not yet. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be doing the thing. It look, takes a little bit to actually like start going. Uh, we might need to make the base bigger. But look at this. I just it went something. Where to go? It's somewhere that that worked kind of. Okay. Um, the obvious problem: the base. It is extremely light. Um, it's not light, it's it's heavy, but not heavy enough, apparently. So, I don't really know what to do with this. Uh, just spam heavy feet on it. That somewhat works in all vehicles, so I guess I'll do that, see how that works. It is a lot more weight, but I don't know if that's enough. Okay, we're gonna try... I didn't disconnect that. Does that, like, disconnect... Automatically, if it has too much stress? If that disconnects automatically, if it has too much stress, that's highly annoying. Okay, let me see... Ah, uh, did I disconnect that? Okay, I'm just gonna do a test. I'm gonna just keep on spinning it. If it disconnects, I did not press it. Yeah, I did not press that. Uh, the cable snapped, so we need to make that. I guess with if it's like this, and there's a lot of nodes, which are different like points in the rope. What is that? Oh. That doesn't. That actually doesn't seem normal. <laughs> uh, well. Um, well, that's not that that bother us, anyways. Pearl, oh, <laughs> look at that. That was that was fantastic. Okay, now I think really the only thing left is to make it throw something that's maybe a little bit more heavy. So let's make some monstrosity of a ball. Okay, so, I think I overdid it a little bit, but, <laughs> yeah, I, that might be a little bit too much. This is kind of sad. I, the rope is a problem. I know if I didn't have the rope, it would be a lot better. Oh, hey, it's, it's actually, ah. Uh, I feel like we should take out the rope, but then it's not a trebuchet. 
I guess I'll just have to make the tile be trebuchet, kind of. <laughs> Which kind of... Kind of lose its... I mean, makes it lose its meaning, but whatever. If this needs success, it needs success. Okay, so this is a new and improved one. So before, I didn't have these two, like... Like, two of them in the same place, I guess. But now I do. So it is actually a lot heavier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> As you can see, heavier. I might need to make the base heavier. Should probably give it some more speed at, at first. I feel like it's just gonna end up with me flipping around though. Well, it did, but it somewhat worked. I'm just gonna try my best to add as much weight as possible in any space I can find. I just like using the wrecking balls, because even though they're kind of big and chunky, they still, you can just wedge them in with stuff. I will put big walk, walk things here. Okay, this definitely has a lot more weight now. Okay, that actually went better. I'm still standing up. Look at that. It went through. Here we go. Here's some, like, high industrial areas. Okay, so just gonna do a montage of destruction here. Starting now. That didn't really go very well. And this ends with total destruction of island and me somewhere in the deep blue depths. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, then tell me. Um, I will make more. I probably will make more anyways because a lot of people are watching these videos. More than usual, I guess. Um, so that's cool. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, tell me, blah, 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 blah. Like, subscribe, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to get more subscribers than my brother's friend, and I'm actually pretty close. So if you would subscribe, that would actually help a lot uh, with my uh, conquest to more subscribers. I think I'm at about 160 right now, and brother's friend is at 190 or 180. Anyways, pretty close.